Which hobbies that people do screams rich people? My neighbor is a yachtsman who makes a middle class living racing rich people's yachts. So, I would say hiring people to indulge your hobbies is about as 1% as one can get. I work for Porsche. Many clients have racetrack memberships where they garage their cars and have track days. $80.90k initiation fee, $10,000 annual fee for some memberships. Bartender here. Two very cute girls from out of town sat at my bar. Equally cute guy walks in. Immediately buys them drinks. His opener was so how often do you gals boat? They were from fucking Philly lol. When he said that I couldn't not smirk at it. He also tipped me like $130 for three James and Cokes. Polo. We had a meet and greet with a new executive at my company and she told us one of her hobbies is investing in real estate. In Germany we have a saying if you play golf, you're too poor for horses. You buy horses if you are too poor for sailing. If you are sailing you're probably too poor for jets and motor yachts. Historic motorsports is also a good indicator for wealth especially F1. Yachts and Yacht Clubs Going to space. The fastest way to become a millionaire is to become a billionaire and go racing. Equestrian sports. Haute couture. And while we are at it. Sailor Moon merchandise. I went to my auntie's 70th birthday. She's a hobbyist pilot and longtime member of an aviation club. My partner and I were talking to one of the guys there and he asked did you guys ever get into flying? To which we obviously replied with. No. He seemed genuinely surprised and then asked oh. Did your parents just not let you? The obscene cost of flying owning renting planes never even entered his mind. The only reason he could see for not flying planes as a child was a lack of interest. Pretty fucking mind-blowing tbh. My granddad belonged in a country club. My extremely affluent uncle enjoys building and flying his own aircraft as a hobby. There appear to be kits. But he has also acquired and fixed small two-seater planes that have crashed. Sailing. Collecting art, watches, cars. Traveling. I know you can travel on the cheap but even doing it cheaply multiple times a year is a luxury of the rich for the most part. Not only the cost of the trip but having the financial freedom to not work so you can travel. Himalayan mountaineering. Creating a secret cave filled with high-tech equipment. Yacht party. Art collecting. Going to Africa to hunt big game. Flying to F1 races. Yachting. Collecting classic Ferraris. With any outdoor sports like skiing, rock climbing, etc. People either seem to be rich AF, or broke AF. Depending on where they live and how often they do it, skiing snowboarding. Tax evasion. I recently went to Loon MTN in New Hampshire which is pretty average skiing, and for a family of four, our tickets cost $475 a day. That's almost $1,000 just in ticket cost for the weekend. On top of that, we spent a couple hundred on food. Luckily we were staying with someone, otherwise we would have to pay another almost $1,000 for lodging. We're upper middle class, and we could barely afford it. I don't understand how the mountain and lift lines were so crowded. Who can afford this more than once a year, if that? Warhammer is basically poor person, spending 3x the money of a rich person. Equestrian, golf, falconry, flying, and fox hunting. GT racing rally racing. Building a race car is expensive. The consumables are expensive, e.g. a set of tires costs thousands and last a few laps. Rally racing has a high likelihood of crashes which require on-the-spot repairs. Philanthropy Hunting people Artifact collecting Warhammer 40k Having more than one Lego set
whatever was going on at Little St. James Island. Summary Only rich people will ask another person where they summer. Lots of folks saying golf, but I haven't seen anybody mention cycling. Sport cycling, not utility cycling to the corner store for a gallon of milk. Mid-level road bikes are now US dollars And it's pretty common to spend low five figures on a complete setup. At least in the United States, the average household income of cyclists is quite a bit higher than golfers. Going on vacations to different countries and then just lounging around the hotel and pool aka doing the stuff you could at home. Buying social media companies and burning them to the ground. Any gaming hobby where you're supposed to pay to keep up. Tabletop that keeps getting updated or card games etc. Also doing cocaine once an hour every day. New people who try to start doing cocaine just to brag about spending money on it instead of smoking weed which isn't as high class. They were working minimum wage jobs LMAO. Money laundering. First things that come to mind yachting and warhammer. Horseback riding. Winning at mobile games. In Sweden it's. Tennis. Even though tennis isn't super expensive, that's where all the millionaires their kids are. Dressage. Fighting the crime with high-tech equipment developed by your RD team as a way to avenge the murder of your parents. The most dangerous game on their own island. At this point, see a concert through Ticketmaster. Dressage. You won't know what this is. Because you aren't even rich enough to know that it exists. Let alone have it as a hobby. Airplanes, tanks, NFA firearms, horses, buying small islands and having 5,000 foot houses built on them. Very monotone laughing. I went to a party my regional manager invited me to, so I could meet the CEO, owner, and whatnot. A lot of rich people were there. Many of them laugh like this hardy HAHAHA with almost no movement in their bodies whatsoever, and they aren't fake laughs either. I was raised in a low-income household and was around a lot of low-income people. We tend to double over laughing, stumbling while trying to run off the laugh. Low-income laughs are loud, obnoxious, yet fun, while there seems almost robotic. My hobby is collecting Rolex watches. Oh, sweet. What do those go for nowadays? 20k? My last Rolex watch was worth 400,000. Oh, sweet. Your useless timepiece that you never wear could buy me a house and I'd be set for life. I have 51 of them, I think. Maybe more. And you wouldn't even miss one. You know those people who fly model airplanes? Except the planes are like the size of a car, have real jet engines in them, can fly at hundreds of miles an hour, and cost like 40 grand? Yeah. That one. We all know damn well it's golf loudly crying face obviously not everyone who golfs is rich but damn near every rich person past their 30s golfs. Car collecting. Wine collection international wine tours.